Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So I am showing you three days of eating today in this video. We are doing OMAD the entire month of January, which is one meal a day. And so I got three more days to show you of what I'm eating to lose weight this month. So yeah, let's just get into it right now. <laughs> All right, guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm the incredible shrinking Steffi. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, be a part of my journey, and allow me to be a part of yours. This channel is my journey to lose a total of 200 pounds from my highest weight of 374. I have battled with obesity and food addiction my entire life, so I document my journey on this channel. We take this journey together. I share the truth of how hard a weight loss journey is. I talk a lot about the mental struggles, but I do a lot of what I eat in a day as well. I started out my journey doing keto and intermittent fasting. I would do dirty keto and I have transitioned into more of a low carber uh, these days, but I still do uh, keto friendly meals all the time. And I have been doing OMAD a lot recently. I feel like because I've lost so much weight, I reached 180 pounds lost last th at the end of last year, which is whoop awesome 180 pounds from my highest weight so because i've lost so much weight i feel like calorie restriction is really important right now because i only have 20 pounds to lose till i'm at my ultimate goal which is crazy so uh, OMAD has been helping me a lot. And so I've been sharing uh, what I eat on OMAD and I always usually stay low carb. But if you check out last week's video, I did experiment a little bit with OMAD in my meals and uh, what I did differently, but pretty much stay low carb uh, the majority of the time. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if that interests you. Also, I have a support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables, come join us over there. Awesome community filled with people who just don't wanna do this alone. And we're there uh, for each other to lean on on each other and support each other and encourage each other along this journey. So uh, come join us over there. Also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. All of that is down below. All right, guys, let's get into the video. Three more days of eating low carb OMAD. Let's go. Hey guys, so yeah, I'm totally back in my robe uh, for the day. I did get dressed today. I promise you I got dressed. I actually filmed a video, which is why my hair is like curled or wavy and I got makeup on, but I just wanted to get back in my robe because robes are comfort. Mm, and it's warm, it's really cold outside, really, really cold today. So I just want it to be comfortable and warm. Not the first time you guys have seen me in my robe anyway. So today was a typical dirty fasting day. I do dirty fasting. Like I've mentioned so many times before, I do add cream to my coffee, but you do you, you do what's best for you when it comes to fasting during your OMAD days. Or if you do intermittent fasting, do clean fasting. That means black coffee and water. Stay five calories or less. Um, for me, no, <laughs> that doesn't work. So I do dirty fasting. Today I have had two iced coffees and I make them the same always. I use my Sunday coffee ice cream sandwich. It's my favorite one uh, right now. It's a flavored coffee. And I put unsweetened almond milk in there uh, with a splash of light cream and some ice and make an iced coffee for myself. And today I had two of those. It is now 2.45 and I am actually going to go ahead and cook dinner. I'm going to cook it ahead of time. Chris has gone with the kids. He took them uh, rollerblading today at the roller room. And so he just texted me and he said, why don't you just go ahead and cook and film since there's no distraction there. And so I'm like, that's a really good idea. And we could just warm it up later. So I'm going to go ahead, get the ingredients out and show you what you need to make. Did I even tell you what we're making? <laughs> I didn't even tell you what we're making. So for dinner tonight, we are having a sausage and cabbage skillet. So let's go ahead and get the ingredients out and show you what we need. Oh gosh. 
my head. All right, guys. So you're going to need one 12 ounce package of smoked sausage. So this is the one that I always get. It's Holmes Smokehouse and it's really yummy. The Polish kielbasa, it has zero carbs and zero sugar and just tastes really good. It has a lot of flavor. So that's what we're going to be using for that. One tablespoon of butter. Obviously, we're just <laughs> only going to use one tablespoon of that. Two cloves of garlic crushed. I have probably about two and a half cloves here and I've already taken the skin off of them so we'll be able to do that right away. Four cups of cabbage which will be about half of this and for your spices you're gonna need black pepper, salt, onion powder, and paprika and so let's go ahead and start cutting things up. <laughs> I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain, some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same, as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago a year ago
So because we're not eating until later, um, they're still gone and it's a couple, it's 3.41 right now, so it's gonna be a couple hours before we eat. I'm not going to continue cooking that uh, to heat it through. I'll just do that later uh, before we're ready to eat. So yeah, can't wait to try it. It smells absolutely delicious, that garlic. Oh, I'm a garlic lover. Mm. Can you smell that? Oh, it smells so good. Ooh, can't wait to eat. Hey guys, I'm I'm excited to eat tonight. It is 3.30 now. I am not having a protein coffee today, uh, but I did have two coffees. I had my regular iced coffee with unsweetened almond milk and a splash of light cream this morning. But then I had a special treat, a Starbucks mocha coffee, which does have sugar in it, but I like to do those on my OMAD days once in a while uh, because it doesn't affect me. And I do dirty fasting. I break the rules when it comes to OMAD. So that is what I had uh, this afternoon. Not going to have a protein coffee. Ozzy, I actually signed Ozzy up for piano lessons, and so he has his first lesson tonight. So right when he gets home at four, we're going to head over there for his uh, piano lesson, and then I'm going to have dinner. And for tonight, I'm going to have a big salad with chicken. I cooked up some chicken last night, my favorite way of making chicken. I cook it up in olive oil and I season it with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and some cayenne pepper. It's really super yummy. It's my favorite way of making chicken. So I have some leftover and I'm gonna make a big old salad for dinner tonight and it sounds really good. So I will meet you back here when it's time to make that. Hey guys, good morning. Never mind the look right now. I am still waking up. Chris got the kids uh, on the bus this morning. I am drinking my coffee right now, but we gotta get dinner in the crock pot because we have to cook it on low for 10 hours. And we're totally not even gonna do that because it's 8.30 now. And we usually eat around uh, 6, 6.30. So there we go. But tonight, we are having pot roast, and I am going to be doing a potato replacement that I have shown in the past. Uh, so 
let's just go ahead and do what we can and get done what we can and then if we have to put it on high later on to finish cooking it then we will but let's go ahead and uh, get out the ingredients while I try to wake up a little bit I'm still fighting off this sickness and it's always worse in the morning and at night and so I woke up this morning with a sinus headache and I'm stuffy and it's like lingering, it's not going away. All right, let's go get the ingredients out and I'll show you uh, what we need to make pot roast and veggies in the crock pot. All right, so the recipe calls for two to three pound beef roast. This is actually uh, four pounds, so I'll probably double the spices. One tablespoon of olive oil, which I don't have out yet. <laughs> uh, for the seasonings, you're gonna need uh, one tablespoon of salt, two teaspoons of pepper, one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of tarragon, and it does call for two teaspoons of minced garlic, but I'm just gonna throw in some garlic and onion powder instead. One pound of carrots, two pounds of potatoes, and I'm gonna make some regular potatoes for the family but for me this is what I use as a potato replacement it is radishes and I've done this before I've showed this before what the radishes do when they cook uh, they just get really soft uh, like potato like they lose the taste of the radish and then they taste like whatever it is that you're cooking them in so it's gonna taste like the juices from this and the, the spices and everything and it's just really really good it's a great uh, potato replacement just to trick your mind into thinking that you're eating something else also calls for a large onion I'm using a white onion and 32 ounces of beef broth it does call for uh, cornstarch but I just I don't even do that to thicken it up at the end but if you wanted to keep it low carb you could use uh, xanthan gum to do that or glucomannan but we're gonna go ahead and cut all this up now and get it in the crock pot as fast as we can because we're running out of time <laughs>
just as surprised as you Is this really happening? I can't be too sure But one day I'll be yours again Something from nothing I sit here looking for an answer Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter You gave me the soul I have today Without you I never could have moved away But now I see what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed yeah. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you That is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and join my support group on Facebook. I will see you guys at the next video. Stay safe and choose health. Bye, guys. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go.